I think that there, there are many threats out there and it's likely that the next threat uh, won't be something that we have specifically prepared for, like Zika, um, not really foreseeable. Um, but of all those things that we do know out, of, uh, out, out there in the world, uh, a, an influenza virus that, um, a, a pandemic of influenza is something that we really do need to spe pay special attention to. Uh, and that would be a, a, an animal influenza virus that develops the capability of being spread from person to person. Uh, we had an instance of that in 2009. That particular virus didn't have the uh, mortality rate, the death rate, or the, the, illness, the severe illness rate that it might have. So it was less severe than, um, than the previous three influenza pandemics. The next influenza pandemic, and we will probably will have an influenza pandemic, we don't know when, we don't know how severe it will be, but that's something that we really need to work to be ready for. Well, there, in the long term, um, having a vaccine that is effective against more than the particular strains of influenza, the, that, that would be the kind of the long term answer. In the short term, we really need to be able to respond quickly to these instances of uh, animal influenza viruses being identified in people. And so there's a laboratory requirement to have quick detection uh, and depending on the characteristics of that virus, um, developing diagnostic tests, evaluating the anti-influenza drugs, uh, if it's spread from person to person, starting work on a vaccine. And so all of those things, getting that decision process where it's, and I think it's pretty well practiced now, but all those things in place so that it's, uh, it's as, for an emergency, as routine as it can be.